Hello, this is Let's Play B Games with episode 45 of my universe mode. This is Smackdown, and we've got quite a good card tonight lined up. We've got Caitlyn and Natalia opening the show in the Divas match. Then this is uh, to face Awesome Truth on Raw for the Mug Contendership, so tag titles. And then we have Diesel taking on Dolph Ziggler for the Hardcore Championship. Then we have Roman Reigns taking on JBL. And then the main event is Edge and Mark Henry in a rivalry match, so something could happen in that. So let's go. Let's go. Oh, I just watched the most epic YouTube video ever. It's by this um, um, YouTube channel called New Legacy Inc. They do WWE 2K14 videos. They are as funny as fuck. Yeah, if you've not seen them, watch them. If you have seen them, keep watching them. Because that's what I'm going to do. So here we go. The recording's going rather slowly today, I'm sorry. This is not a number one contenders match. If Natalia can beat Caitlyn here, this will get her on the way to a title match. Natalia. So Natalia and Caitlin are going to start off SmackDown. to get me to turn the volume down. Big net breaker by Natalia. Uh oh. Big bulldog by Caitlin. This is going to be a pretty good opening match between these two. Tell you with two huge, two huge leg drops, and that'll throw Caitlin into the ropes. Big back body drop, and now Caitlin reversing it. So SmackDown is the last show before One Night Stand. One Night Stand's gonna be tomorrow, and it should be a good show. Because I'm hoping it's a good show. Main event will be. Punk and Brian in a last chance ladder match. The last chance will be for Daniel Bryan. If Daniel Bryan lo uh, loses, 
against Punk tomorrow, then he doesn't get another title shot as long as Punk's champion. If Punk loses at Money in the Bank, that doesn't mean uh, Daniel Bryan will get one straight after. It means Daniel Bryan won't get one until at least november -ish time. Or at least October. Or whenever. I don't feckin' potato. Do you not potato? No, that's it. Okay. Um, Caitlin reversing everything the Italian's doing, apart from that. Okay. Not everything. Oh, uh, leg drop. And now Natalia. Sharpshooter. And uh, Natalia. Oh, Caitlin. Managing to break it a bit, but Natalia's still with a lot of strength behind that. And uh, Caitlin breaking out. I was saying Natalia breaking out, but it was Caitlin breaking out. You miss Diva. Kicks to the face by Natalia. No leg, knee thing. And now another big discus clothesline, as Natalia calls it, I think. As far as I know, it's a discus clothesline. And now a second sharp shooter attempt. And Caitlyn taps. And Natalia is in line for a Diva's title shot. So Natalia wins. Here is your winner, Natalia. Wow, what a match. What an effort by these combatants. Beautiful win. Two sharp shooters needed by Natalia to get the job done, but she got the job done. Natalia picking up the win of Caitlin, putting her in line for a future title shot. Next match is a tag team match. Whoever wins this will face Awesome Truth on Raw for a tag team title opportunity and no way out. It'll be Diesel and Michaels against one of these teams. And hopefully the time players win. I was going to them separately, but oh well. I'll reform them after. Tyson Neal ready in tag team action with his, well, he reformed with Darren Young a couple of, uh, last week, so they're friends again now, and here he comes. The first wrestler to come out as openly gay is ready to well, get a tag team title shot. He's running across the ring, buying off the rope, and doing the thing that he does. Dancing, 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 million dollar dance, Mr. Dance, Mrs. Dance, everyone that's fucking dances. We can move, we can dance. Here comes tons of fun. Tensei and Naomi, the real deal. So both played Sweet Tea.
since I announced his retirement a few months ago, about two months ago now, from real life wrestling. He's now a commentator on NXT. And believe it or not, I've got a little plan in, X, uh, universe, uh, in my universe for NXT itself, so keep watch out for that. So, Brodus Clay and Titus O'Neil starting off. Titus O'Neil lost uh, to Tensai on main event. Uh, that's, not, that's not good for prime time players going into this match, but... And... Well, Brothers Clay and Tensai are close and Titus O'Neil and Darren Young. Titus O'Neil and Darren Young broke up a couple of weeks ago. I mean, they got back together, but how how much trust is within that team? I don't know. Only only time will tell. And a sidewalk slam by Titus O'Neil. The real deal. The real deal. Titus O'Neil throwing it into the car, throwing him into the corner. Tagging in his tag team partner Darren Young and a slam and slams Darren Young onto him. I swear to God, if he splits prime time players up again, I'm just gonna ignore it because I'm not having that bullshit. Brothers Clay now in control of Darren Young and uh, like it or not, I think tons of funk have this match but tons of fun could be facing awesome truth on monday night raw if they do they need to get past awesome truth before they get a tag title shot and even when they have a tag title shot they have to try and beat diesel and Shawn michaels two of the best in the business tensei tagging himself in and rose Clay not liking that but uh, but getting out anyway and darren young working on the leg of tensei smart move Doing what Titus, uh, Titus didn't do yesterday, but now we're doing what Titus did do, getting beaten up. <laughs> and Darren Young reversing that. And the big foot of a DDT. Nice move by Darren Young, uh, no days off. He has a few days off, he doesn't appear on ECW or, uh, ECW or Raw. So he does have two days off. In fact, he only has two days working because three other days there's no WWE, so. Unless he, he's involved in the pay-per-view, which he hasn't been involved in the pay-per-view as yet. Has he? Uh, let, me think, let me think. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. He could have been involved in the pay-per-view had he not broken up with uh, O'Neill. He would have been O'Neill's manager <laughs> against Barrett for the Intercontinental title. Well, Titus O'Neill and Darren Young fired Bobby Heenan as their manager. Because they used to have uh, Bobby Heenan as the manager. We Barrett, um, we Barrett had Bobby Heenan as manager, but then Bobby Heenan turned on him and then joined, well, Titus O'Neill and Darren Young. But then Titus O'Neill said, No, Darren Young's a better friend to me than you'll ever be. I don't trust you. I trust Darren better, more. So, Titus O'Neill fired Darren Young, um, fired um, Bobby Heenan and reformed the primetime players with Darren Young after Darren Young said, Yeah, sure. Whatever, mate. One day I'm going to have to make the prime time players' attires matching. Instead of one having purple and one having yellow because, well, it's stupid. So I'm not going to make Titus' his yellow, so I'm obviously going to make Darren's purple, so I'll do that at some point. I'll do that for next time I use the prime time players, which could be raw. It's a good tag team match. I've not really got any other teams apart from, well, the tag title holders, um, Austin Truth, and then these two teams. I've not really got any other teams. I could reform DX, but uh, the tag team titles, Shawn Michaels already has a tag title with Diesel, so. I could uh, check my tag team list and see who else I can make into a tag team. Or if anyone, well, no one will, but if anyone does want to comment, or if like one person comments, they could like give a tag team name. Because that would be that would be very useful for the future. And Tyson Neil wanting revenge on Tensai. Could do that by maybe getting the win here. One, two, two and a half before 
Bros Clay breaks it up. Uh, the prime time players would have had that match if it wasn't for Brodus there. And now Bear Hug. Brodus Clay try to break it up with Darren Young. Getting all up in Brodus Clay's grill. And now Brodus Clay breaking it up. Darren Young's still down, and now Darren Young get back up. Oh, Green missed into Tyson O'Neill's face. But Tyson O'Neill unfazed. And I'm surprised at that because the Green Mist would hurt your eyes. Tyson O'Neill is unfazed by the Green Mist, though, and the sidewalk slam again. Tyson O'Neill tagging in Darren Young, which is maybe not a smart idea because Tyson O'Neill has been. Um, <clears throat> Controlling this match. And Darren Young coming in to get the pin. So primetime players win. Primetime players are going to be facing Awesome Truth on Monday. To decide who's going to face uh, Diesel and Sean at No Way Out. And that could be a good match. That will be a good match. Anyway, this is for the hardcore title. Uh, Dolph Ziggler went on the random thing and Dolph Ziggler was the guy who came up. So uh, Diesel will be defending his title against Dolph Ziggler. Diesel is a raw guy, so it's the first and last time uh, Diesel will defend the title if he if he wins that is on SmackDown. So here he comes. Daddy Cool Diesel, or as his top says, Big D, coming to the ring. A stupid controller. You have to vibrate when the power goes off. Well, I've got champion Diesel, because we're taking on the challenger, Dolph Ziggler. I think we know who's going to win this. Heel Ziggler, even as a face. So yeah, I've got a little story about the hardcore title. First of all, I didn't know. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't know which brand Diesel was on. Then after Raw, I checked, and he was on a Raw brand. So if Diesel wins here tonight, this will be the first and last time it'll be defended on SmackDown while Diesel's champion. Because now, it, now I know he's on the Raw brand. Diesel will be defending his title on the Raw brand, so Diesel will be defending his title on Monday as well tonight. So he's got double duty if he wins. And I'm not going to be playing. Just 
So it's Extreme Rules, Force County Anywhere match. Diesel beat Mick Foley uh, on ECW two weeks ago. Well, week, last week, not last ECW, but ECW before. So, yeah. Diesel and Dolph Ziggler. Two guys you never thought you'd see face off are facing off. Reversal by Ziggler. My prediction to win this is Diesel, but anything can happen. It's, it's, it is. The hardcore title and Dolph Ziggler could prove more hardcore than we think he is. Highly doubt it, but you never know. I hope this match does last a while because I've got a plan for the next match. And it's uh, interference. I'll just I'll just spoil us. It's an interference. And I think we all know who the interference is going to be from. Maybe not. Maybe I'll change it up. Again, it's Diesel getting a weapon and Dolph Ziggler intervening. But this match can also be won outside, so either of these men can win the match outside and they're both going for a What is the point? So I think Diesel's decided, fuck it, I'm going around this side. If Dolph Ziggler won me. So why is Diesel getting a ladder exactly? That is a good question. And Dolph Ziggler throwing a sledgehammer at the steps, throwing a sledgehammer down, and... and Wow! Big ladder shot by Diesel and Diesel. Can we work on Ziggler with a ladder? Nope. L a ladder reversing? Ziggler reversing. Uh, Diesel reversing the ladder. It's going to be Ladder Wars. If it is, I don't really. Oh god, he hit the ref. If it is Ladder Wars, then I don't really want to be part of it. But then uh, Ziggler hit him with. Uh, l Diesel with the ladder. Throwing the ladder down and. But we're working Diesel now. I'm hoping Diesel wins. But I'm not going to be playing any hardcore matches. Diesel gets DDT'd on the concrete. And that could be it. Nope. Oh, wow. Diesel is a force to reckon with. Big! Punch. One, two. Dolph Ziggler kicks out. And the jackknife. I didn't think this was going to last long. And it hasn't, but the jackknife is going to end it. That's going to be it. That has got to be it. One, two, three. Routine win for Big Daddy Cool. And Diesel will be defending the title on Raw. See, I've got to cover the screen up here because we're doing interference. I don't let anyone know who it is, so yeah, we'll met. It's changed my match up as well, which doesn't help. I think we know it's going to be interfering, but yeah. 
So here we go. That took longer than expected because it changed my match to Justin Gabriel and Sin Cara, which is not what I want. So here we go. I think we know it's going to be interfering. Roman Reigns is going to take out the ref. Boom! Ba 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 boom! Wasteland. No, Reigns. Go on it. Reigns. Reigns, 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 stop. Ball armor. Ball armor by Barrett on JBL. Best music ever. See, so yeah, anyway, Barrett getting over, getting one over on one of his Intercontinental Championship opponents. If you didn't know, Chris Jericho will also be challenging for that title, which is uh, news because Jer Jericho beat Barrett on main event. Welcome to World Champ. I think it looks like it's been a match already. I hear how my phone keeps fucking freezing. It's annoying. It said rivalry match, so hopefully something's going to happen. Something's going to give. My guess is that Orton's going to come out here and go to the commentary table or some shit. Or somebody's gonna buy a ticket in the crowd. Or whatever, I don't know. He's gonna be the ass to the flow. Always in the cloud, number one in the spot. Somebody's gonna get the ass kicked. There's Edge again, just in case you didn't see him the first time. So good you get to see him twice. 
the world heavyweight champion. Unintentional world heavyweight champion. Rebel Randy Orton's here and he's in Mark Henry's corner. I think I know I'm going to go as now. I was originally going to go as Edge. I think I'm going to go as Orton if I can. Oh, I can't. Okay then. Whatever. And Henry's got a signature already. Okay. Because that's fair. Just because um, Henry came. Uh, Orton came in for Henry. Edge getting another advantage. If Henry beats the champion tonight, that'll mean a future title shot. Not one at Money in the Bank, but one in the future. An edge. Flapjack. And uh, draining out and glitching out. Okay. So for some reason, Randy Orton was glitching out. Oh, why did he just fuck off? He glitches out again. Uh, Mike Henry, world's strongest slam. This is over. If this is actually over, then this is going to be shit show. Two and a half count on Edge. And Edge somehow kicking out the world's strongest slam. I thought Edge had resiliency. If Randy Orton doesn't fuck off in a minute, I'll get pissed. Look, Orton, you're pissing me off. Either get in the ring or go to hell. And uh, my advice would be go to hell, but get in the ring, Phil. It's fine with me also. Edge has been in control of Mike Henry. Except for that world's strongest slam that Mike Henry hit because of having Orton out here. Because that gives you signature now. And a big side effect, sort of, by Edge. How about you fuck off for a minute, Henry? Bulldog. Let me just... This cunt is pissing me off. Stay away. DDT on the outside. And now Edge. Taunting Mike Henry. Well, Taunting Orton as well. Oh, drop to a hold. Drop to a hold by Edge and now throwing Henry into the corner. And I thought Orton was going there, but he didn't. Knee, drop, uh, knee to the head of Henry. Has he gone? Has Orton gone? I don't know. I really should check. He's in, he's in a long rivalry with Edge, which is actually going to finally come to a conclusion that we're out. Has Orton gone? Hmm, yeah, Orton's gone. Hey, Orton's gone. Uh, Matt Kerry doesn't let me finish my taunt. What a cunt. Why doesn't he let me finish my taunt? What have I done to him? Apart from maybe just DDT him on the outside just there, but that's not the point. Just apart from beating him up, what have I done? It's not like I've beaten him up or anything. This is terrible quality, I'm sorry. I deeply and wholeheartedly apologise. And I will have a huge one that stand show tomorrow for you. Edge, grow up. I don't know why I said that. Why didn't, why didn't say Edge grow up? I meant fun grow up. Because it's being a cunt. Being a cunt stabber. Not an actual cunt stabber because that would be, be quite painful. I, I assume it would be quite painful. I don't know first hand that it would be quite painful, but I assume it would be. So, what the hell? Hmm. Orton's back. <laughs> Orton's returned. And Henry is being a dick and taking advantage of it. What a dick. I was going to say, if I'd got him in those signature, I swear I would have been pissed. <laughs> well, Orton's back anyway. I think Orton left to get uh, to go for a piss, but he's back now. 
It's bad news for Edge. And Edge now. Education. <sighs> Try Spear Orton. How about Henry? You fuck off a minute. Okay, obviously Henry doesn't want to fuck off. What the fuck are you doing, Arton? Arton, what the fuck are you... Ah, I don't know. I don't know what Arn's doing, and I don't care, but I don't think they're letting you out of the ring. I don't think they're letting you out of the ring area, which is something stupid. Edge breaking the account. Now throwing Henry back in. Arn, what the fuck are you doing? You try to leave, and then he goes, oh, fuck it, no. Let's just, let's just follow him and see what he does, because this is pissing me off. So Arn's leaving, Arn's trying to leave. And leaves. When I check, he leaves. Otherwise, he doesn't. So, Arn's left again. I think he may have some sort of diarrhea problem. I don't know for sure, and I'm not going to judge. But I think he may have some sort of diarrhea problem. I'm not going to pick on him if he does. I and mean, that's not what rivalries are all about. I should make a rivalry about diarrhea, but that's just over the line, maybe. Or over the edge. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so, I think I may have diarrhea. Well, I'm not sure. He did go, he did go to the toilet. Maybe he should have gone for a shit then, but maybe he didn't want to. Maybe I'm just being intensive. I have got a finisher, yes, I know I have. For anyone says you've got a finisher, just use it on Henry and win. I don't I don't wanna use it yet. I wanna I don't know. I just wanna beat Henry. And I want to make sure I get the job done. Uh oh. Henry taunting. Uh Taker, what are you doing? I'm sorry, did I just say Taker, what are you doing? I was just I was just thinking about a Taker match I played earlier, and then I came out. Oh, Taker, what are you doing? What I meant was Edge. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I think I should get shot in the face now for what I just said. What a fucking twat. Anyway, just forget that I said that completely. I'm I'm not I'm half asleep. It is 9:36 p.m. I meant to record this earlier, but I forgot. Well, forgotten couldn't be asked are two different things. So, yeah. I forgot. Anyway, Edge uh, thingy in Mark Henry on his head. DDT, come. And now, whipping him off the ropes. edge matic Henry's in trouble. Going for the spear. He's probably going to uh, get, get, get counter. And I'm probably just overdoing it now. But Edge going for a second spear, just to make, just to make sure he can keep the world's strongest man down. Is he going to keep him down for the one, two, three, one, two, three? And Edge beats Matt Henry. Edge picks up the win over Mark Henry 
in what was a sort of one-sided main event. Maybe not, because Matt Curran did hit World Strongest Slam and almost win early. Talking about Kevin Rue getting his theme music, if you can hear it. If you can't hear it, then yeah, we've got his theme music. So, this Sunday is not Extreme Rules. It's Extreme Championship Wrestling, which is close enough. But it's not Extreme Rules. It's, in fact, something. Uh, the man gives a start as Randy Orton tries to throw off Champion's Edge strategy. It's, um, what am I doing? I want to see what, the, I want to see what the game's booked for the, my pay-per-view. Uh, Christian Jinder Mahal, yeah, Taz Slater. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm, Diesel's going to be defending his hacker title against Santana. That's not a bad match, but it's not going to happen. Van Damme and Swagger, Foley and Big Show, and um, Punk and Goldberg. So yeah, not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening, not happening, and not happening. So, none of these matches are happening. Where the... I just like to check...